Bishop Wale Oke, born on the 8th of September 1956. Bishop Wale Oke is a Nigerian gospel minister and writer. He spent the first 11 years of his life in Kasumu, Egbeda, local government area of Oyo State, Nigeria, and is the current bishop of the Christ Life Church worldwide. Francis moved to Ibadan and he attended the Wesley Teachers College and then the Polytechnic. After that, he gained admission to pursue a degree in land and engineering survey from the University of Lagos. It was while he was still in school that he got connected to other top gospel ministers like Pastor Kumuyi, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, Bishop David Oyedepo, and Bishop Benson Idahusa. Pastor Adeboye was his mathematics lecturer in 1977. He founded the Christ Life Church in 1989 and he has grown to over 200 branches all over the country. Bishop Oke is married to Mrs. Victoria Tukumbo Oke and they have a son, Isaac Oke. Make welcome Bishop Wale Oke. it globally all over Nigeria all over Africa all over Europe all over America, Canada all over Australia and far away other places accept our thanks in Jesus name Amen thank you God for preserving daddy's life thank you Lord that even in his old age he can see a new headquarter. He can see a new auditorium. Thank you. He can see thousands and tens of thousands of his children gathering from all around the world for this 65th anniversary and the 55th annual convention. Thank you for being so good to us, inspiring his life. Thank you. Receive the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this great convention and now you have been moving since the opening night. Thank you for your word that have been spoken in truth and integrity from this altar. Thank you for lives that have been blessed, souls that have been saved, healings and miracles that have taken place. We are very grateful. Lord, receive our praise in Jesus' name. Amen. As I begin to speak tonight, Holy Spirit take control. Amen. Holy Spirit, take control. Amen. Holy Spirit, take control. Amen. Let your word come very clearly. Let your word come with power. Let your word come with grace. Let your word come with accuracy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it be all of you and none of me. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That nothing will be spoken carnally, nothing will be spoken in the flesh. But the Spirit of the Lord will take full control in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, stretch for your hand and confirm your word with salvation, healing, Jesus. miracles, signs, and wonders, and the power of the Holy Spirit as we open the heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been asked to speak on the dispensation of the Holy Spirit under the theme successful Christian living. The Holy Spirit is the chief executive of all of God's operations on earth. So if you really want to know God, befriend the Holy Spirit. If you want to understand the word of God, befriend the Holy Spirit. If you want to understand the ways of God, befriend the Holy Spirit. If you want to be able to pray effectively and prevail because 
Men and brethren, it is one thing to pray, it's another thing to prevail in prayer. If you want to pray and prevail, befriend the Holy Spirit. Prevailing prayer is impossible apart from the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit alone that helps us to prevail in prayer according to Romans chapter 8 verses 26 to 28. Alright, if you want to connect with the power of God, the original power of God, Connect with the Holy Spirit. I heard of some people, some fake ministers who are trying to produce fake miracles. It is because they don't know God and they don't know the Holy Spirit. Our fathers in the faith and one of the icons of them is seated here tonight they didn't teach us fake, fake miracle they, they taught us to seek God they taught us to pray they taught us to connect with the Holy Spirit and they taught us that if the Holy Spirit is in control, the power of God will flow. And in this place tonight, the power of God will flow. The power of God will touch your life. Every yoke of the devil in your life shall be destroyed. Some people say, some people say the anointing breaks the yoke. No, no, no. The anointing doesn't break the yoke. My I, friend, if the yoke is broken, it can be fixed back hmm. again. The anointing doesn't break the yoke. The anointing destroys the yoke. I want to say, if you are not a yoke, and this place tonight whatever yoke the enemy had put in your life I command it destroyed in the name of Jesus it shall come to pass in that day that is burden shall be taken from off your shoulders and his yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing you the anointing we are talking about is the power of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is here so I command every yoke to be destroyed I will tell you some testimonies of original miracles by the Holy Spirit here tonight. Moma Shia Muno, Lara Aweri, O Julo Wo Isha Yano Tia Mimima, Nini Wasu Lala Yi. Because I know you are next in line for a miracle. Netori Pe Moma Pe Wan Isha Yano Kasa Miracle. Tani Sa Yano Kaba Yo Shat Hallelujah. Papa Ja Wan Yo Yaki Hallelujah. Now, in 1985, in the month of May, Nio Sukan Wadu 1985, I held my crusade in Ijabode. Moshe Soji Kani Ijabode. Not too far from here. We mobilized the place and prayed and prepared. As a kede ni bogbag begbe ya akbadura si bawe. The Obonis in the city, they wrote me a letter. And maybe when we were praying, we we they, we we dealt with them in the realm of the spirit, and they wrote me a letter that. If I did not want my mother to weep over me, I shouldn't come. 
awon egbe ologbo ni ilu na won ba ko letter kan si mi boya ti kolu won gba gba dura ni won ni ti mi o ba fe ki mama mi o foju sukun mi o mi o gbodo wa si pade yen they wrote the letter in red won fi eh yin ki pupa ni a fi ko letter na when i read the letter nigba ti mo ko ti mo ka i took it to the presence of god mo wa lo si waju olorun to pray lati gbadura I don't have any other secrets. Me ni asiri mira. The word of God. Oro Olorun. Prayer. Adura. Fasting. Awe. The name of Jesus. Oruko Jesu. That is what Baba taught us. O ti Baba fi le wa lo niyan e. O ti e ko wa niyan e. I I took it to the presence of God. Mo wa gbe lo si waju Oluwa. I began to pray. Mo be si gbe adura. The spirit. I said God. They said I shouldn't come. Mo ni o ni mo wa o. Ti jebu ode. Si jebu ode. On the third day of the prayer, Lord Jacket Adura, no. The Lord said, "Go." Oluwa ni ma no. I've gone ahead of you. Mo so Lord Saju, so I got up. Mo lo, and we went there. Mo si Lord Sibe. The first night of the crusade, I sali a koko no isaji no. I was preaching from Galatians chapter three, verse thirteen, verses thirteen and fourteen. Mo wa sulati no wega la te ori kata se kata la ati kadi la. Christ has redeemed us. From the cause of the law, Christ having been made a cause for us. At Christ, it is a work by the Holy. I will go for any artificial go for that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through faith. That we may receive the promise of the Spirit by faith. I began to lift Jesus up. How he died. How he shed his blood. How he gave his life. How he was buried and rose again. And how that through his death and resurrection, he cancelled every cause in the life of anyone that believes. I stand on this sacred altar tonight and I declare by divine authority every curse any curse that have troubled your life I cancel them I cancel them I cancel them. Whatever may be the origin and the source of the cross, by the blood of Jesus, I wipe every curse out of your life. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. As I was lifting Jesus up, a Muslim woman was in the midst of the crowd in Ijebode who had an 11 year old daughter, sorry, 13, a 13 year old daughter who had never spoken a word. In her life, she was deaf, she was dumb, she couldn't say anything. And the mother said, according to her testimony, she said she had taken her everywhere. To their work pass, to the Oshubos, to every, she's taking her everywhere. But when she heard of this, she said she was going to come. I didn't know she was there. I didn't know her problem. Just like I don't know who you are. I don't know the problem you brought here tonight. But the one who called me, who anointed me, who is standing by me here like a mighty, terrible warrior, he knows you. He knows where you are hurting. 
and he will remove your pain tonight he will remove your mountains tonight for what thou O great mountain before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made a plain I command every mountain to move mountains move mountains move mountains move mountains move mountains move mountains move if you believe your mountain is moving shout hallelujah that is up I was 27 minutes into my message 27 minutes I was speaking and interpreter was interpreting 27 minutes when the woman screamed and began to disturb the meeting I'm going to shout I come to this place, I come to that place. They couldn't do anything. Ah, my, my daughter is healed. I had not started praying. I had not. I was still speaking. But the Bible says He sent His word and He healed them and deliver them from their destruction tonight the word of the Lord is coming to you be healed be healed be healed be healed if your amen is louder your miracle will be faster Twenty seven minutes into my message, this thirteen year old girl began to speak very clearly when the word of the Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit fell upon her, her tongue was loose. The ears that were deaf were open. That was the miracle that opened up Ijabude Crusade. The same God who did it today, who did it those days, He will do it today. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever wherever you are seated receive your breakthrough receive your breakthrough receive your breakthrough I don't care for how long the power of darkness has tied you down tonight you are loose you are loose you are loose you are loose, you are loose. Jesus said Lose that woman and let her go. I speak against every power of the enemy that has kept you on the same spot, that has stagnated you. No breakthrough, no progress, no moving forward. Today, you are loose. You are loose. You are loose. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, every ground that you have lost begin to recover. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Daddy, the woman got born again in a hurry. She got born again quickly. What the imams couldn't do? What the imams couldn't do? Imams. What the Oshubos couldn't do? What the false prophet couldn't do? The power of the Holy Spirit did it. 
And the woman became soundly born again. The woman, the, the girl that I, I'm talking about of 1985 is married to a deacon in the redeemed Christian church of God. The, the mother of the girl who brought her to the crusade is an elder, elder in redeemed Christian church of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. So, those who are talking of fake miracle that are trying to organize and orchestrate miracle, they don't know the power of God. They don't. When you connect with the Holy Spirit, the power of God will flow. Jesus said in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8, said, But ye shall receive power. 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 What did he say we shall receive? Talk to me. What did he say we shall receive? Now, some people think he said you shall receive tongues. No. Tongues are involved. But what we receive is not tongues. What we receive is power. The power produces the tongues and all the other gifts of the Holy Spirit. Like many of you here tonight, you will receive several gifts of the Holy Ghost. Some of you you will receive the gift of healing. So you will be able to lay hand on the sick and I shall recover. Some of you receive the gift of prophecy. Some of you receive diverse kinds of tongues. Some of you receive the gift of miracles. The gift of faith. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. The Holy Ghost is here. Begin to receive. The Holy Ghost is here, begin to receive. The Holy Ghost is here, begin to receive. This is Holy Ghost night, begin to receive. If you are receiving, come and shout hallelujah. When you connect with the Holy Spirit, the power of God will flow. He said, ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. My friend, the Holy Spirit cannot rest upon you and, and you are powerless. No. No. When the Holy Spirit truly comes upon you, power will flow. Lift your right hand to God. I command by the authority of the Most High God that from your life power to begin to flow. Receive power. 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 Power to heal the sick. Receive. Power to raise the dead. Receive. Power to cast out demon, receive in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I receive. Say it again. Say it louder. Please sit down. And of course, when the power of the Holy Spirit is upon you, signs and wonders will begin to flow through your life. A lot of believers are living ordinary lives. They are powerless. They can't win souls for Christ. 
They, they can't pray for one hour. By the time they pray five minutes, ten minutes, they begin to recite our Lord's Prayer. They, they cannot confront the devil. Ordinary people. Living ordinarily. And that is not the plan of God for his children. God wants each of his children to be full of the power of the Holy Spirit. The signs and wonders will be flowing through you. In Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18. Isaiah 8 18 says. Behold. I and the children that the Lord had given me are for signs and for wonders. That's a prophecy about Jesus. He said, I and the children that the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders. And Jesus was truly for signs and for wonders. Right from the time the Holy Spirit came upon him, he went about doing good, healing all the oppressed of the devil, opening the eyes of the blind, making the lame to walk, making the dumb to speak, making the deaf to hear, raising the dead back to life. Lazarus died and, and was buried for days. Jesus stood before the tomb and he spoke three words only. Three words. Three words that were not repeated. Lazarus, come forth. He didn't repeat it. And the Bible says, if you, if you check John chapter 11 verse 41, the Bible says, he that was dead, he that was dead, he that was dead. He that was dead. So the state of being dead became a past tense in the life of Lazarus. Because somebody who carried the anointing of the Holy Spirit was speaking. I don't care the problem you brought to this camp. I don't care the sickness you brought to this convention. I don't care the demonic affliction you brought to this convention. Right now, they become past tense. They become pastors. They become pastors. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see them again no more forever. No more forever. No more forever. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. If you believe it, lift your hand and shout hallelujah. And the children that the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders. He was for signs and wonders without any doubt. He was for signs and miracles. But that scripture in, in, in Isaiah 8 18, he didn't say, I am for signs and wonders. He said, I and the children that God has given me that is talking about me because I'm one of the children that God gave to Jesus Christ correct how many of you are one of the children that God gave Jesus Christ with him from today you will be for science 
Miracles will flow through you. Power will flow through you. Healings will flow through you. The oppressed will be set free through you. In the name of Jesus. How will it happen? How will it happen? Connect with the Holy Spirit. Connect with the Holy Spirit. And you don't need to fake any miracle. Fake. 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 In fact, many times when the miracles happen, I am surprised and shocked. I, I did a meeting in a place around Songo in Ibada many years ago. During the morning meetings, they brought the sick and I was laying hands on them and praying for them. And as a woman, they said, was suffering from migraine. That's what the ushers told me. And they brought that before me. But the woman had a hunchback. <laughs> hunchback. She didn't come to be healed for hunchback. I'm standing on the sacred altar of our God. I fear God because he is God. And he will show himself alive in your life today. This woman was not expecting anything more than headache to be healed. She had accepted the hunchback as a permanent condition of her life. She had thought she was going to carry the hunchback for life. So I laid my hand. I laid my hand. Maramo karabu kude keteya from head to toe be healed and I moved to pray for the next person and the woman began to jump up men and brethren when I laid hands on her the haunt in the back disappeared I am I am standing before God before whom we are going to give account on the day of judgment. She was surprised. Where has he gone? Where has he gone? I look at her. I too, I was surprised. Because I didn't do it. The Holy Spirit did it. The Holy Spirit did it. And he will do it again tonight. Son, give me the ministry. Let me prophesy. Run the keyboard for me. So just, just run the keyboard for me. There's somebody here, all right? They have diagnosed a situation in your life. And they have told you that you will carry it until you die. That you will just be not seeing it. They will be treating you and they will be giving you medicine. But who speaks and it comes to pass when God has not spoken? The doctors don't have the final word in your life. That affliction is uprooted. It shall never occur again. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Give me some of the flow uh -huh, like that. Like pipe. Something like pipe. The flow. There's, there's a gentleman here. You've been married for 18 years. One eight years. And your wife has never been pregnant once. 
you are here you are a child of God you love God I don't know you but the one that sent me knows you and he knows you are here and the Lord has sent me to you I declare to you by the word of the Lord who confirmed the word of his servant and perform the counsel of his messengers this time next year you will bring a set of twins to convention they have told you that you don't have enough seed to make any woman pregnant but who made the human body is the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is coming upon you now coming upon you now coming upon you now coming upon you now receive total healing 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 and everybody listen to this Psalm 138 verse 8 the Lord will perfect that which concerns me Holy Ghost night is perfection night when the Holy Spirit moves upon you it takes away from you what the devil had added to you he restores back to you what the enemy has stolen from you so perfection comes lift your two hands to the Lord you are before the Lord God of hosts receive perfection in your body receive perfection in your marriage receive perfection in your business receive perfection in your finances receive perfection in your career receive perfection tonight your joy shall be full you are going home with joy what you have been believing God for for many 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 years receive it now 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 in the name of Jesus if you are receiving shout hallelujah in Mark chapter 16 when Jesus was sending us into all the world to preach his glorious gospel he sent us with power he didn't send us empty no he said as my father has sent me even so send I you after he breathed the Holy Spirit in that Mark chapter 16 when he commissioned us let's read it from verse 15 go, go into all the world he said unto them go into all the world and pray the gospel to every creature yes he that believeth and his baptism shall be saved for he that believeth and none shall be damned no, don't, don't leave don't leave don't leave go back to verse 16 daddy each time I read this scripture, I read it with trembling and fear. Ah, the power of the gospel. You believe the gospel and you are baptized. You are saved. You won't go to hell. You receive eternal life. 
you become a true child of God. You're on your way to heaven. How many of you are on your way to heaven already? You will make it. You will not miss heaven. But look at the other side. For ye, for ye that believe it not shall be damned. Damned. If the governor of a state say you are damned, you are in trouble. If the president says you are damned, you are in trouble. The one speaking here is the king of the universe. He is the Lord of hosts. He is one who has the keys of hell and of death. He is the one who has the final say. Anybody that does not believe the gospel of Christ shall be damned. God does not have alternative plan for the salvation of mankind. This is why we who believe the gospel, we must preach it with passion. For neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. If that person is your mother, your father, your uncle, your daughter, your son, your bosom friend, if he does not believe the gospel, he shall be damned. Let's take the gospel to them in a hurry. Let's, let's, let's preach it when it is convenient, when it is not convenient. Jesus said it. But now in verse 17, look at verse 17. Now Jesus now said, and, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Are you with me tonight? Are you alive tonight? Are you well tonight? Can we read this scripture together? When, when I ask you to stop, you stop. Are you ready? One, two, read aloud. Stop. 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 This Jesus speaking. Did he say, and this son shall follow the apostles? Talk to me. Let me hear you. Oh, he said, and this son shall follow the pastors. Let me hear you. Or, oh, and this son shall follow the bishops like me. Or the, this son shall follow the deacons. And this son shall follow them that believe. Them that believe. Them that believe. How many of you believe here? You believe in Jesus. Shout the loud hallelujah. From tonight, signs shall follow you. Signs shall follow you. Signs shall follow you. I want you to do something prophetic. prophetic. If you have your Bible, put it aside. And you will take it again. Open your two hands on, on your palm as you sit there. I command the anointing of the Holy Spirit to fall upon you. To fall upon your hands. When you lay these hands on the sick, they will recover. When you point your fingers at demons, they will be cast out. Mighty signs shall happen by your hand. 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 
by your hand you will see miracles you will see wonders you will see breakthroughs you will see healings through your hands the barren shall conceive through your hands the oppressed shall be delivered through your hands Jesus shall be glorified when you leave this place tonight you live with the anointing for signs anointing for wonders in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus how many of you are receiving you are receiving if you are, if you are receiving give the Lord a big hand clap 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 Manifest signs, wonders, miracles, and healings. Yes. By connecting with the Holy Spirit. I can tell you countless testimonies. A woman came to my meeting in London, in the city temple in London. Who had been suffering from insomnia, unable to sleep for 23 years. And he told you, she, she is a white woman. Tall, a little taller than myself. 23 years back. Her husband and her two sons were driving on the highway in England and they had an accident and the three of them died. She was so traumatized. She couldn't sleep. They had to prescribe medicine for her. After using some medicine for about two years, the body began to resist. They were to change it. So she came to my meeting. And through the word of knowledge, God fished her out that you are suffering from inability to sleep. I remember laying hands on her like this. She was taller than me. Prayed for her. She fell under the anointing. I said, bring her up again. I said, woman, do you go to work tomorrow? Do you go to work tomorrow? He said, yes, pastor. I said, set your alarm clock. Because you will sleep. And so you won't go late. According to her testimony, when she got home, she was so tired. She didn't even eat, so she didn't remember to use her drug. She went to bed. First time in 23 years. She slept. But she didn't set an alarm clock. <laughs> she didn't wake until 10.30 the following morning. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, somebody here, you are going through the same. Today, your sleep that the enemy stole from you is restored. <laughs> For he giveth his beloved sleep. From tonight, you will sleep soundly. Your sleep shall be sweet. In the name of Jesus. Second day, she slept again. Third day, the final day of the meeting, she came. Say, Pastor. She genuflects. Pastor, I've, I've been sleeping. The meeting is 
over tonight? Will I still be able to sleep? Or do I follow you to Nigeria? And my wife didn't go with me. Can you imagine? I went to preach in England and I brought a woman back home. <laughs> God forbid bad things. <laughs> I mean, we send her back from wherever. I said, no, you will still continue to sleep for the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. He won't give you one hand and take it the other hand. Whatever God does shall be permanent. Lift your two hands to God. Receive permanent healing. Permanent healing. Permanent healing. Receive permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance. Receive permanent liberty. Permanent liberty. Receive permanent breakthrough. Affliction shall not arise the second time. Oh, there is a woman here. Play that keyboard up for me. There's a woman here. You have a cancerous growth in one of your breasts. You are hearing me. I don't know you from Adam. But your owner knows you. You are living in fear. Because of the growth that is said is cancerous. I speak to that mountain. Who art thou, O great mountain, the first Zerubbabel? Thou shalt be moved. For the strangers shall hear my voice, and they shall faint out of their hiding places. Cancer, I command you, disappear. 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 Woman from head to toe, you are healed. An affliction shall not arise the second time. Come and give the Lord a big hand. Give the Lord a big hand. Give my hand. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. So when, when we connect with the Holy Spirit, doesn't matter whether we are a bishop, or pastor, or deacon, or evangelist, or elder, provided you are one of those who believe, signs will flow because of the Holy Spirit. Now, who is the Holy Spirit, by the way? The Holy Spirit is not a force. No. The Holy Spirit is not a power. No. The Holy Spirit is not an influence. It's not an influence. The Holy Spirit is not a thing. A thing. No. The Holy Spirit is a person. A divine personality. The third personality in the triune God. If you look in Genesis chapter 1, you see the triune God working together in creation. The Spirit of God moved upon the waters. The Father spoke. The Word came forth. For in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. And the Word became flesh. And dwelt among us. 
full of grace and truth. Jesus is the one. So you see the Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit working together at creation. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, when God said, let us come together and make man after our image. Let us make man after the father Baba. was inviting the son and the spirit to a council meeting in making man. That's how it has been from the beginning. In Genesis chapter 18, if you read verses 1 and 2, the triune God appeared to Father Abraham. Verse 1 says, And the Lord appeared oh, unto him in the plain of Mamre. The Lord, the Lord appeared. Our God is not dead. He's alive. He's alive. He's not like the idols of the world. They have mouth, they cannot speak. They have hands, they cannot move. They have eyes, they cannot see. The God of glory appeared to Father Abraham in Mesopotamia. On this sacred ground tonight, by the Holy Spirit, God will appear to you. He cannot appear to you for your life to remain the same. No, 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 no. He will appear to you. 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 Now, go to that scripture again. He appeared to Father Abraham in the place of Mamre and he, as he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. Now look at verse 2. Look at the triune, triune God. And he lift up his eyes and look. And lo, three men stood by him. That's how God appeared. That's how God appeared to him. As three men. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. And when God appeared, the critical need of Abraham was met. Correct. He had been buried. They are calling him dry tree. He didn't have any child. But when God appeared, the story changed positively. Somebody here tonight, your story will change positively, gloriously, 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 gloriously. The God of glory will meet with you, and it will meet your need. If that is you, shout a loud hallelujah. I can tell you more. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, and verse 16, you see the triune God working on our redemption. Isaiah 48, verse 16, look at the scripture. Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time that it was. There am I. That's Jesus. Yes. Yeah, I am. And now, the Lord God, that's the Father. And his Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit, has sent me. Jesus was speaking and he said, 
the Father has sent me, the Father and His Spirit has sent me. The Holy Spirit is not an ordinary person. Is co-equal and co-eternal with the Father. Co-equal, co-eternal with the Father. I testify on this sacred altar that the Holy Spirit is God. And this God, the Holy Spirit, will change your life tonight. In Luke chapter 3, when Jesus was being baptized, let's read from verse 21. Verses 21 and 22. You see the triune God walking again. So you know the Holy Spirit is God. Everybody, please repeat that to me. Say the Holy Spirit is God. Don't be afraid. Say the Holy Spirit is God. Don't be afraid. Say it louder. Say the Holy Spirit is God. Can heaven hear your amen? This God will touch you tonight. We have honored him. We have declared this night as the Holy Ghost night. Ah, oh God, the Holy Ghost. Of whom I am testifying that you are God. In the lives of these your children, glorify yourself. Give them laughter. Do for them what they have not been able to do. Do for them what people have not been able to do for them. In the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 3 verse 21. Now when all the, all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also been baptized. I'm praying the heaven was opened. Verse 22. Yeah. and the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dog body and a voice came from heaven which said thou art my beloved son in thee and where please look, look at the triune God working together the sun was standing in River Jordan. The heaven opened. The Holy Spirit descended upon it. And the Father spoke. They have always been working together. Now listen to me. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit will come upon you today. Many of you, you receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit. You will speak in other tongues. You receive a new anointing. You receive the fire. 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 If you are ready, shout hallelujah. I prepared the ground. Let me now begin to run down. In John chapter 16, verse 12, when Jesus was winding up his ministry on earth, after chapter 16, he went to pray the high priestly prayer in chapter 17, and then the uh, and then the passion week and the crucifixion before he left John 16 verse 12 John 16 verse 12 hear what Jesus Christ said ok let's go to John chapter 14 Verse 18 first. John 18. Eight. John 14, verse 18. Yeah. I will not leave you comfortless. 
Hmm. I, I will come to you. I, the Yoruba translation is closer to the original. I, I, I will not leave you comfort. I will not leave you fatherless. Correct. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Verse 26. The, the same chapter. Look what he said. John Ford. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. He. He. Not it. He. You will speak the divine personality. He shall teach all things. And bring all things to your remembrance. What's your verse? In the Old Testament time, was the dispensation of the Father. From River Jordan, when Jesus was anointed, and he went about doing good, this was the dispensation of the Son. Here, Jesus said, I'm going away. I'm going to the Father. I will not leave you. A comforter is coming to you. And he came on the day of Pentecost. And from that time, he's been the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Baba sang a song. When Baba, when I had the honor of my father coming here to introduce me, Baba sang a song all over the world. The spirit is moving right from the day of Pentecost. Healing, saving, delivering, setting free, giving joy. Open the womb of the barren because we are in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. Somebody repeat that to me. Say, We are in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. You will receive His touch tonight. He will touch you tonight. Are you ready for His touch? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for his grace? Are you ready for his fire? Are you ready for his anointing? Are you ready for his miracles? Are you ready for his healing? Are you ready for his salvation? If you are ready, shout hallelujah. When he comes, he saves. He saves. Nobody can be born again without the Holy Spirit. It is not possible. It's the Holy Spirit that convicts us and leads us to Christ. Paul the Apostle said in Romans chapter 8, verse 9b. If any man has not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. The day you were born again, the Holy Spirit came inside you. The seal of your redemption. The day you get baptized in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit fills you to the brim and you overflow with the power of God get ready get ready don't touch somebody you know wave at somebody point at somebody say get ready get, tell somebody don't, don't touch them just wait say get ready 
the Holy Spirit is about to move in your life. Look at somebody else. Tell him, say, Garen. Tell him, say, Garen. The Holy Spirit is about to move in your life. Find a third person. Tell him, say, Garen. The Holy Spirit is about to move in your life. Who is ready for the Holy Spirit? If you're ready, shout hallelujah. If you truly want the Holy Spirit to move in your life, you must be born again. I paused for effect. For effect. If you want the Holy Spirit to move your life, you must be holy. And, you, and lay your life on the altar. You lay your life on the altar. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, and mercy of God, present your body as a living sacrifice. If one day is ready to move your life, you must be ready to win souls. You must be ready to preach the gospel. That is what government is known for. Preaching the gospel. And that's why God is blessing government. What I see in this place tonight, thousands and thousands and thousands of people you left the Koyi, you came here, you left Lagos, you left the Malibu. It can only be God. And it is because we are honoring him in this mission. That is why he keeps honoring us. Come and give the Lord a big hand. Give the Lord a big hand. Lord a big hand. Are you ready? Are you ready? For the Holy Ghost, are you ready? For the fire, are you ready? For the miracle, are you ready? Stand on your feet. Oh, over the world, the spirit is moved. Daddy, Baba, Ejubu, Ejubu, Oh, over the world, as the prophet said he will be all over the world there's a mighty Me, 
the fresh fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, move in my life. Now, 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 now. Come on, pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, anoint me for signs and wonders and miracles. Now, 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 now. come and pray that prayer. Pray. Anoint, me. anoint me for signs, wonders, miracles, breakthroughs. Now, 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 now. Holy Spirit, move, move, move upon your children, move as you pray, move, move, move. Holy Spirit, perform miracles in the lives of your children, forgive sins, heal sicknesses, deliver from oppression, destroy yokes. Remove bodies. Holy Spirit, move, 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 move. Begin to bring your prayers to a close. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Pray after me, say, Father. Send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon my life and destroy all the works of the devil in my life. Now, 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 come and pray that prayer. Send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon my life and destroy the works of the devil totally totally now 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 all the works of the devil destroy sickness destroy sin destroy affliction destroy growth removed fibroid removed goiter Remove chromatism, remove cancer, remove hypertension, remove diabetics, remove Holy Spirit, move here and perform it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bring your prayers to a close. In Jesus' 
mighty name we pray pray say father by the holy spirit destroy every sin in my life set me free from every sin every sin every sin be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed now 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 pray the prayer every 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 sin be destroyed every sin be destroyed every sin be destroyed every bondage lost of the flesh lost the eyes pride of life arrogance be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit move in the lands of our children Holy Spirit move in the lands of our children Holy Spirit move and destroy sin and set your people free and receive all the glory thank you Lord. thank you begin to bring your prayers to a close In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody say a loud amen. As led by the Holy Spirit, I'm going to pray three prayers. I'm going to pray a prayer of impartation. That the sevenfold spirit of the Lord will fall upon you. And when you leave this convention, you go to perform signs and miracles. That's the third prayer I will pray. The second one I will pray, I pray for healing. That the anointing of the Holy Spirit will destroy every yoke of sickness. Cancer must vanish. Diabetics must disappear. Hypertension must go. Fibroid must go. That's the second prayer we pray. But the fourth prayer we pray. I pray that your sins be forgiven you. Because when there are sins in your life, miracles will not happen. That God is a God who forgives sins and he pardons iniquity and he sent Jesus for that purpose to shed his blood so that through his blood that he shed our sins can be wiped out so wherever you are now you want God to forgive your sins you want to receive God's gift of eternal life you want to become truly born again you don't just want to go to church you want to go to heaven you want to be saved whether you are male or female young or old rich or poor great or small you want God to forgive all your sins I want to become truly born again raise your hand up wherever you are I want my sins forgiving me I want to be truly born again I want to be truly saved I want to make it to heaven I want to become a true child of God it is because of you that this convention was put together all of you that raise your hand take your bags your bibles your ipad your phone whatever you brought to, to your seat 
and come right out here. Why you, why you sing a song for me? Come right out. Right out. Here. Right out. Wherever you are, just come. I want to be saved. I want to be born again. I want to make it to heaven. Come quickly. This is your day. Come quickly. This is your time. Come quickly. This is your hour. Come quickly. From wherever you are. I know many of you, you are coming from far away places. But we will wait for you. Keep coming. I want to be saved. I want to receive Jesus. I want to be born again. I want to make it to heaven. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to sound in vain. I want to make it to heaven. I want to inherit heaven. I want to inherit heaven. Receive liberty. 
Liberty. Liberty. Liberty. Liberty. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Right now, be free indeed in Jesus' name. You will make it to heaven. You will not be lost. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will preserve you. By the mercy of the Most High God, when I get to heaven, I will see you there. In Jesus mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Now, if everybody stand on your feet, if you want to be healed of any sickness, don't go yet. Don't go. Everybody stand. If you want to be healed of any sickness, any infirmity, pray, lay, lay your right hand on your head. And as I pray, you say a loud amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. I send your word into these bodies. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed instantly in Jesus' name. It does not matter how long the sickness has been there. I remove it now. 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 Now, now, in the name of Jesus, it does not matter what the doctors and medical experts have said. It does not matter what name they call the sickness. That sickness is terminated. 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 From head to toe, you are healed. You are free. And the affliction shall, ne shall never come back. Shall never come back. Receive now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Third prayer. Don't move. Don't move. You, you want the sevenfold spirit of God upon you. You want to be anointed for signs and miracles. Lift your two hands in total surrender to God. Wherever you are. And as I pray, you say loud amen. Holy Spirit, move. Holy Spirit, move. Holy Spirit, move. Holy Spirit, move. This, your children are hungry. Holy Spirit, move. Let the anointing fall. Receive. 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 Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. As you go from here, go and heal the sick. Go and cast out demons. Go and raise the dead. The mighty hand of God is upon you. You are blessed. 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 Irreversibly blessed. Irrevocably blessed. Permanently blessed. Perpetually blessed. In the name of Jesus, everybody that contacts you from now will connect the blessing. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Come on, if you believe you have received, give the Lord a shout of joy. Shout. 